I can see how he broke that martingale and hit you in the face. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he's strong, isn't he, with his neck? Mm -hmm. He's like amazing. Um, so you first started having problems with him when he was just a baby. Yes. Yep. He was uh, three months old, or three days old when his mother died. So he was an orphan. Um, I got him at three months old. He was my first baby, and I let him do absolutely anything he wanted to do. And so he did things like he would stalk kids. He would creep up behind them and mount them. They wouldn't even know he was coming. Um, he would get me, I would be in the stall with him to brush him, and he would mount me. And um, I would be hitting him, you know, to get him to back off, and the more I got aggressive towards him, the harder he'd bite. Um, okay, so if he had had a mother, and he did that to the mother, she would have kicked him or bitten him, and she would have been just as strong as him, and she would have stopped him immediately. Right. So right there is where your problem started with him is that you weren't strong enough and probably severe enough because you loved him so you didn't want to be mean right but you didn't discipline him sharply enough then right so at the very beginning he learned that he could push you around right yep and it sort of has you the both of you have survived but when you're on top of him and he decides he doesn't want to participate in whatever it is that you're doing Probably because he's scared or confused, but still, he doesn't want to participate. And then he knows that he's stronger than you are. Right. And he can therefore... Push me around. Right. 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 And so, I mean, it progressed from there with his age and the bigger he got. Yeah. Um, like, 